Hi, I'm Dr. Erwin Bora. I'm here to talk about uh, ART, that's Assisted Reproductive Technologies, in women of advanced maternal age. To understand how the aging process starts, once a woman hits 35, at the strike of the clock at midnight, there is no magic button which is pressed. Suddenly, all chemicals don't change overnight in the body. So the basic understanding of a woman's health is also very important. But what happens is, science has now seen that post 35, there is a damage in the quality of the egg as well. The spindle, the technical issues with the meiotic spindles, with the chromosomal abnormalities, with the granulosa and theca cell function will all cause the egg to become less competent. And also we have seen in various studies that Indian women age six years faster than our foreign counterparts. So that again is something that needs to be kept in mind when we are planning to postpone a family. Now with the advent of science and assisted reproductive technologies, it's very easily possible for a woman even beyond the age of 35 and 40 to be able to get pregnant. So as per the guidelines, when a couple has been trying for six months beyond the age of 35 years, they need to consult a reproductive medicine consultant for a basic evaluation for fertility workup. The different techniques available will of course be catered to the problems of the couple. Please remember this 35 is not a magic number. There is no change that happens overnight when a woman turns 35. This is just a date, a time that is allocated for women across the globe to understand that we need to start looking up and seeing if we are interested in having kids, then what we need to do and how fast we need to act upon that. So the different options which can be offered to you based on the history would of course be IUI, which means an intrauterine insemination, where a woman is just treated with basic tablets with or without injections and the follicles are made to ovulate, the husband's sperm is cleaned and the sample is injected. The next form of treatment which works well with women who are over 35 years is IVF, that is in vitro fertilization. IVF is a very meticulous procedure which warrants good planning and good execution. But don't be scared of that. The results are good in fact, when a woman is 35, her chance of getting pregnant with IVF is as good as 25 to 30 percent. However, as age advances, by the time a woman is 40, these chances go down to about 10-15 percent. And when a woman is around 44-45 years, it becomes almost difficult to get pregnant naturally or with IVF also. The success rates go down to as low as 1 to 2 percent. ART, like any other procedure, comes with its do's and don'ts, the goods and the bads. Of course, when you speak to your doctor, have adequate counselling, get adequate information both from the doctor, from the support groups which are there to help you out and understand what can go wrong so that you're potentially prepared for those things. With the treatment per se, there is a possibility that if the number of oocytes is less, the doctor may choose to cancel the cycle for financial reasons. There is also a possibility that the quality of embryos may not be good and you may require to undergo multiple cycles of IVF. Not just IVF, the problems may persist beyond IVF when you get pregnant. And that's where the importance of good lifestyle comes into play. Once a woman is pregnant, there are pregnancy complications which happen to most women beyond the age of 35, provided they have not been screened before getting pregnant. There is a risk of having high sugars in pregnancy, which is known as gestational diabetes. There is a risk of having hypertension, that's preeclampsia. This again is more common in women who were having borderline diabetes or borderline hypertension and it was not even picked up before they got pregnant. The answer to all these negatives is a good preconceptional workup with your doctor, having a good counselling, having a good lifestyle and that's where you proceed to get your baby in your hand. So my advice to all the couples who are planning to get pregnant and for women who are over the age of 35 years is time is very important and knowledge is power. Be aware, please get a preconceptional evaluation done with your local gynaecologist obstetrician 
or a reproductive medicine consultant so that you have practical hopes and you understand how long you can postpone your pregnancy or if you need to act now what is the best way forward for you as a couple so all you women out there over the age of 35 years don't panic don't let the society pressurize you that you're over 35 and you won't be able to get pregnant because now the new research shows that there is a wonderful silver lining at the end of this gray cloud itself new research coming up is saying that actually women who conceive later than 35 years probably live a little longer than the ones who got pregnant early and also that maybe their babies are more tech savvy we don't know what the reality is but hey you know there's no harm you will probably be more emotionally and financially independent and a more mature and calmer parent when you conceive after being well settled in life so make your choice and stick by it all the women who've been waiting patiently for those two pink lines and they have been making you get depressed month after month don't give up don't lose hope please step out meet a fertility consultant meet a fertility expert and i'm sure there are multiple ways with the advents in science and technology where you will see those two pink lines in your house and you will celebrate shortly so don't shy out and go get those two pink lines for yourself.